Okay, this is the second and final part of this tutorial. So let's start by taking care of these buttons. So I'm going to start with the exit button. So right here, have the exit. In the first place, I need to enter a command there. That is the exit command. Right, that's my exit. So maybe I should just call it I exit. So with the I exit, I will now declare a function. Let me declare the function right above my variable. So let's start by declaring the method there, I exit, entire parenthesis. As you can see, the parenthesis is empty. So I'm going to then define a variable. I call it Q exit equals i like the system to generate a message for me just to prompt the user to confirm if they would like to exit the system ask that's a method within python ask or no yes or no okay so right there we enter as follows pay roll system that's the name of my system and comma and right here I'll just enter do do you want to exit do you want to exit the system all right so that is the front so now I will then use an if statement if Q exit less than zero because the the method here is a boolean expression so it's going to be one or zero or yes or no if root dot destroy enter your parenthesis and return there and that's all there is to the exit so if i let's give that a try save let's check out the exit that's the exit there click if you click on no you remain on the system if you click on yes you exit the system so that's how the exit works now the second one let's take care of the second one let's go for reset that's my reset there the whole idea is to clear all of this to be able to clear it apart from the yeah, apart from the date so let me just clear this once okay so I have to be able to clear it individually so what I will do is to go to file new project just paste everything in there copy this go to edit find and replace like to that would be dot set speech mark close that replace it all that's it that makes life easy for me i'll just copy that i can close this i don't need it anymore and paste it right underneath here that is it that's my reset button taken care of so select it all and get it indented there that's taken care of so if i compile and run okay enter whatever data I intend to enter in there so let's just verify which one and which we can exit so we can reset okay I do need to enter the command here come right down to the reset button here I need a command there okay command equals reset that's all you need to enter there okay now that the reset is there let's give the run again save that let's enter some data in there okay enter anything there let's click on reset yeah all of this 
respond to the command but uh, the text box here is not responding to the command so let's go back into the function reset up here okay so let's take care of that so that will be txt pay sleep dot delete okay so that would be speech mark one dot zero close that comma end and that should take care of that so I'm gonna save that and run it yeah there we go so let's enter some value in there randomly click there the reset now works so exit is taken care of and reset is taken care of so let's exit now the next step or the next thing we should uh, we need to do now let's de define another method okay that has to start from there all right okay so this function will be for that will be for the information system so i'll call it enter info yeah so just before i maybe i should just create a command first let's come right down create a command and i will also need another one for yeah, I need, i'm gonna need two of those this one will be for the pay sleep yeah command equals enter info and the other one that will be weekly wages let's put another one here command equals let's say weekly wages all right let's just copy this copy and go back right up there where we have all our functions right there so might as well create another one for the weekly wages before I forget right so let's take care of the information one first so that will be pay sleep this very one dot insert I would like you to insert as follows and comma then let's use backslash t to give me a space so I'll just call that pay sleep right there and uh, maybe two backslash for new line okay close that all right and the next thing is all of this component here I want to get them to appear on the system so let's say txt pay sleep so we're using exactly the same lines of code here so let's just copy that paste that in there but this time around i want as follows that would be name one name but without the tab let's get rid of the tab maybe the tab can be here two tabs here all right now come out of there and say plus this variable name right here this very one let's copy it and paste it right here okay dot get right there and let's ask it to enter new line for me so I'm just gonna enter two new lines there and that is that for the variable names so let's copy just copy that and come here let's take care of that of maybe address 
I'm gonna copy address right there paste it in here and paste address here that is that taken care of or well, maybe I should just enter this let's enter column there another column here so that is the address taken care of maybe one tab here another tab right okay let's take care of maybe just copy two copy both paste and now I'll take care of employee employer let's call that employer come in here paste and the name there should be employer as well right then let's take care of the NI this will be NI the national insurance number and this is NI okay let's just speed that up all right this is how it looks now it's not going to do much but let's let's just give it a try and see so that you guys see what I'm talking about I've commented this one out okay it's giving us error because it's been commented out so let's just leave it there and comment it let's see if it's going to let us do it all right we still have the same problem so comment it out and just come right down here get rid of it entirely that's it just delete it we cut it off paste it somewhere here comment it out now file save and run and we'll come back to it there so if i enter name there let's say the name is steve okay employer let's say airport system hours work let's say make that up and we enter whatever in there if i click on receipt there you can see the receipt so that's how that works okay so the receipt is taken care of now click on reset and click on exit so now let's take care of the weekly the weekly salary so i'm now going to get this back to where it was let's say undo undo and undo one more time there we go it's right there so let's come up here where we have our function weekly wages so we start by entering as follows I'm going to declare the following variable hours work per week okay then this is the content that goes into the text box is then stored into hours work per week so the next one would be wages wages per hour okay now that I have the two inputs now I now need pay due equals wages wages per hours we multiply that by our work per week let's just copy that okay multiply that by hours worked per week okay so now the next thing we want to do is payment due equals Let's enter the pound sign, comma, convert it to string, and uh, percentage dot two f. I will convert it to two decimal place, and pound sign. Sorry, 
percentage open a bracket pay deal and close the bracket all right so that is taken care of so what I would do is just speed that up let's speed it up okay that is the weekly wages calculation there so have a good look at it because you will need it okay hopefully that should take care of the calculation so if I come to file and save and run it let's see no error as you can see so let's run it now just enter how many hours work there anyway in the first place and let's say per hour is being paid 15 pounds 90 P so we just need to click on here and there okay then we can then you can enter this guy's name or maybe his name is Luke Luke Jones all right and employed by Kingsland Rail or Rails okay address London MNYY -Y. okay and national insurance number so you click on view payslip there that's his payslip there okay so exit so what what i would do now is to just show you guys all of the lines of code taking it from the top so have a look i import give my system a name create all my frames from here to here those are my frames that is the heading or the title that is the function exit from here to here that's function exit function reset or you can call it method reset or method exit method and enter information into or onto the pay slip or you can change the name to whatever you want and this function is to carry out all of the calculation that you saw earlier okay here the data entered into the hour this is for hours and this is the pay okay, it's then converted and stored in here there we go and but here if it's if hours worked is less than 40 then the following calculation takes place if it's more than 40 this following calculation takes place here are my variables and here is the time that you saw on the pay slip right here I have all my labels and here I have all my entry widget then I have text widget here which is and that's what I use as the pay slip right here are the buttons okay guys with that I'm going to call it the end of this program I suppose you guys enjoy it rate this very program and do subscribe so with that I'm just gonna say bye for now Have a nice day guys and bye for now.